Uh, Greg from Newark. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We were gone a day. One lousy day. What is your opinion of the new morning show? How can you have an opinion? They just started. I didn't hear them this morning. I, I, I morning. haven't heard them yet. Yeah. We were uh, we were in L.A. yesterday, and then uh, I was, boy, I was sleeping this morning. And I... Yeah. I didn't even want to get up. I Sorry, that sounded too good. I needed to crank that for a second there. Go ahead. I always set my alarm, you know, a little early there, up so I could wake up, catch a little dust, CNBC, Squawk Box, see what the market's going to be doing, and then get on the computer. I was just so beaten by last week and, and yesterday and then... Today I didn't I didn't even want to trade. Yeah. I popped online for a little bit. I'm just like, yeah, wow, well, well, big recovery though. Look at this Nasdaq uh, only down 70 points. Well, we need to get stockbroker Dave on the phone in about 15 or 20 minutes because it must have been just a wild scene on the floor today. Um, but the morning show, I mean, you guys, God man, it brings back memories because when Ant and I started here about two years ago. <sighs> People wanted our heads. No one wanted to give us a chance. All we ask is you guys give the new shows a chance before you make your opinion. I, I was reading some emails saying, yeah, the, mor uh, the morning show sucks. You can't make an opinion How the hell on you something gonna say you, that? you've heard once so far. Unbelievable. It takes a good couple of weeks just to get uh, situated in your new environment, you know? Here was us when we first got here. Hi, it's uh, Opie and Anthony. It's our first day on the air. Let's, uh, let's get to know the listeners. Take a call. You suck. Play the music. Shut up. We hate you. Go away. <laughs> right. Thank you. Right. You guys really suck. Right. But we didn't even have a chance to suck yet. And, and then I wanted to. And then just like, uh, just to just to make it even worse, then they would like request a really bad classic rock song. Yeah. You guys suck. Can you play some Super Tramp? Oh. <laughs> super Tramp. You guys really blow. And like, you know, I don't even know why you're on the air. You're not entertaining. Uh, if anything, did you just put Bungle in the Jungle on? <laughs> right. <laughs> so. That's our stance on all the shows here. Give them a chance. You know, the funny thing is... Play some Marshall Tucker, man. <laughs> right. Can't you see? <laughs> Marshall Tucker. Um, remember when Steven Sue started, Anthony? Yeah. Who? Steven Sue. The Manson and Kaczynski Morning Show. <laughs> they are long gone. <laughs> yeah. They they uh, they uh had they got their little boxes and had to clean out their desk. Clean out the desk thing and everything. Kind of uh, sad to see uh, some more people... Leave this place, but I read some stuff on his website that he was uh he was uh blaming uh the old regime old regime yeah, now there's no one to blame right that's it you know i got I was reading some of the stuff on his website though, and I'm like, but, you know I gotta give him that one <laughs> <laughs> like because he had told us this too, he tried getting out of his contract before he even took the airwaves because mm -hmm. he knew that it he was realized a mess. yeah, he saw there was no plan. We have talked about this before we our boss told us there was this master plan, and we finally realized uh, like a month after we were hired that there was no plan. Let's make sure everyone realizes this is the old boss old boss. talking about right. We enjoy the new bosses so far, but in time they'll piss us off too, yeah. So, uh, so, uh, the old regime hires Steve and puts him with Sue and tries to get a morning show going underneath all these restrictions that the old regime had. And, uh, Steve was just like, oh my God, there's no plan. I want out of my contract. He sat down to dinner with, uh, our old bosses and said, look, I want out of this now. And they were just like, no, no, you go and do a show and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, but the only thing is, once you're put in that position, you have to, perform and, and do your show. you got to make the best of it. Right, make the best of it. Like w what we did, we, kinda we just did. said we, we're not going to give two flying apps what they say, and we're going to do our show. If they fire us, they fire us. If we do well, we did well on our terms. If we bomb, we bombed on our terms. Yes. Uh, I don't think he uh, took it to the level he wanted to take it. Mm -hmm. He backed down, I think, to uh, some of the bosses. Well, I, and the show just got the best of the poor kid. Yeah, remember when we went first went to lunch with this guy? Oh my God, he was a slim guy. He was he was straight Full energy. He was straight from California. Where was he working? L.A., San, San Diego, Diego, one of those places. We 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 take him to lunch to get to know the guy, and yeah, he he looks young and vibrant. He was thin. He was yeah. tan. He was ready to you know come to New York and kick ass. Right. You know we had some bad blood between us as time went on, so I I, I decided not to run into him on purpose. Yeah. The other day, I finally ran into him, one of his last days here. Oh, my God, didn't even recognize him. <laughs> this place almost killed that guy. It really did. He must have gained 50 pounds. He was saying on his website that it gave him a bleeding ulcer and uh, it made him uh, depressed clinically. Mm -hmm. He put down on his website. So it was like, oh, my, oh my God. 
This place almost killed him. Almost killed him. When I saw him uh, coming out of the elevator, it was last week. I, I honestly felt really bad. I'm like, man, this place just took its toll on this guy. All of a sudden, I thought I, there was a W.C. Fields impersonator uh, <laughs> on the on the floor. But it was Leno. It was Steve. Oh, God. He looked like a tick. Drunk me. Man. He looked I'm like a on tick. Drugs. He just like depressions. Loompa. Yeah. Loompa. Loompa. <laughs> Look like where the Oompa Loompas are pushing around. <laughs> man. <laughs> God damn, that's a mess. So uh, I wish uh, them nothing but the best. I hope they both I'll find peace up. and happiness <laughs> away from this place. <laughs> yeah, at least they're in a better place. They are in a better place. <laughs> I think he's blaming the good humor man. <laughs> <laughs> the good humor man. Is that the official name for our old boss? What? The good humor man? <laughs> the ice cream man. Mr. Softy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, remember, way back then, we, we told everyone to give the new, you know, Stephen Sue a chance. It yeah. turned out that they did suck. Yeah. But, yeah, but before you make that uh, opinion, you guys got to give the new shows a couple months. Right. Well, you do. And a few of the shows have been here almost a couple of months, so. <laughs> what, what are you saying? People are making their uh, judgments already? Judgments already? I've heard nothing but positive so far. So have I. Because I, I think you could hear it coming through the radio that everyone here really wants to win and they're, they're they're working their asses off Yeah. to be successful. A big difference than what we had when we first got here. Oh, hell yeah. People oh, that were just like, you know, check uh, uh, cash in their paychecks. Cash the check. They That's could, what it's all about. They could care less about ratings. Hence, the last place performance of this radio station. And then with the bosses that were in place, it just, it went on and on. It wouldn't end. But like, when are these people getting fired? When are they going to bring in some new blood? Where's the energy? Oh, don't worry. It's right around the corner. Oh, my God. We're in the new millennium. Yeah. Oh, oh. This was supposed to have happened years ago. Now you walk down the hall, like we were saying earlier. Energy. People running There's in and out of the offices. Running. People running. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it was. I don't know what they're doing, but it looks like they're they're keeping busy, at least, which is <laughs> smart. The other the other people didn't even try to make it look like they were busy. I think I actually saw Earl working just to try to keep up. They're going to be on. Nah, to I'm you. kidding. Go. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be on to us soon. We're going to have to start working a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because in the past, we realized what we were surrounded with, so we're like, ah, look what these guys are doing. We're going to put in work. half an effort, and it'll look great. But I have a feeling we're going to have to start hustling around here.